Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have a fun fold card design that I want to share with you that looks like a trellis or a palette. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have two different card ideas that I want to share with you that feature this fun new design called a trellis card. Uh, it reminds me a lot of a palette, so trellis or palette, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's super fun and it's very easy to do. So I'm going to walk you through how to create this little trellis card. Now the cards in this video feature the Queen Bee bundle from Stampin' Up! So this particular bundle includes the stamp set here. And of course, it includes a coordinating die set. So I'll be using a couple of the different die cut images just to decorate my little trellis. Now keep in mind, you can use any supplies you have on hand to create this trellis card or to decorate it. So let's get started. Okay, so to create this design, we're gonna focus on this particular card, and then I'll show you the other card, but basically the concept for creating the trellis is the same. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to cut a piece of cardstock, which measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. And then I just scored it in the middle at five and a half inches to create the base of the card. So this is one of those top folding cards. So once you have your card base created, then you can just open it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut six pieces off the front of our card. So each piece is going to be a half inch and it'll be four and a quarter inches long. So we're gonna line this up at the half inch mark and we'll just make the cut. And so we're just gonna do this six times. Okay, so once you have finished the cutting, you'll have six pieces of your card front here. So this is crumb cake cardstock, and each piece is a half inch by four and a quarter inches. And so we're going to start with two pieces, and we're going to adhere these to our card front to kind of create the base of our trellis. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to lay these on here. I'm going to use my bone folder to just kind of hold this down. But we're just going to lay these on, and then we're going to adhere them one by one. And we're just going to adhere this top part. So we'll just add a little bit of glue up here to the top. And what you want to do is you want to line up the bottom of this piece with the bottom of your card front. So we'll add that one and then we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to pick up this piece and I like to just kind of keep my finger on the spot where um, I don't want to go any farther than where my finger is so that the glue doesn't show through. And then we'll line this one up. So that kind of creates the base of the trellis card. So now what you're going to do, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can layer these right across. So we have four of them. So the one of them has to go on the bottom. And then the other three, you just want to kind of line these up equally within your little trellis here so that you have kind of that palette look. Okay, so you have a little bit of space in between. So you can line it up on the front, and I've seen people also put these on the back. So either way is fine, you know, whichever whichever way you want to do it. If you decide to put these on the back, on the back of the card, all I would recommend is just open up your card front and fold it back this direction. And then you can adhere all the pieces onto your trellis. Does that make sense? So this is just the back of that card front. So I can adhere all these pieces. And it just gives you a little different look. So for example, if I adhere them to the back like this, then you'll see these pieces are hidden behind these two posts that come down. But if you decide to adhere them to the front, 
then you can see that the posts are in the background and these long palettes are on top of the post. So can you see the difference between the two? Either way is fine. It's really just a personal preference. All right, so for this particular card, I'm just going to adhere them right over the front. So I'm gonna start on the bottom and I'm just going to adhere this piece across. So you just wanna make sure it lines up with the edge of your uh, card base. Okay, so I like to lay all my pieces out so that I know, you know, where they should be adhered. All right, so next I'll take this one and I just put a little bit of glue right on these little pieces here and then I adhere them. All right, so that is the look of the trellis card. So you can Okay, to decorate this card, the first thing I did is just cut a two and a half by four and a quarter inch piece of designer paper. So for this particular design, I decided to cover up, you know, the spot where those two pieces were kind of showing. And I wanted to add some designer paper to the top of the card just to kind of bring out the rustic look of this design. The next thing I did is just cut two pieces. These are two die cut pieces from the Queen Bee bundle. And I'm just using them to kind of go down the trellis. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue kind of all over here. And we'll adhere one up on the top. And the reason I cut two is just so that I could kind of layer them together. So we'll adhere that one. And then this one, I'm just going to layer this direction. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue. And I'm not gonna get too particular with adhering every little leaf down. So we'll put this right about here. And the next thing I did is just cut out a variety of little florals using the dies from that Queen Bee set. And I'm just going to adhere all these little florals. They're all cut in white cardstock. So I'm just going to adhere them with a little glue dot to different spots here on the card front. So I cut a total of six. And then you could just kind of puff them up a little bit. I like to just make them a little bit, give them a little bit more depth and dimension. So I just kind of puffed them up, pulled up the edges a little bit. And then I'm going to add just a couple pearls on the inside of each of these little flowers. So now I just took that large B image that is in this set and I just embossed it on a piece of crumb cake cardstock and then I cut out the image with the coordinating die. So I'm just going to add this image right here kind of off the off the right side a little bit. So I'm going to put some dimensionals here and I just kind of eyeball it. You want to make sure you add dimensionals to the spot where, you know, the trellis is. You don't want to add it to a spot where, you know, there's an open space. So make sure you're adding your dimensionals in the right spot. And then you can just go ahead and pop this up on the card. Now I added a little extra die cut image kind of right in here just to fill in this spot a little bit. So the next thing I did is just wrap a little bit of twine or linen thread around the top part of the card twice. And then I just snipped off the excess here. And I like to tie my bows upside down. And 
And then I just add a little glue dot right underneath, right underneath the knot there. We'll just add a little glue dot and we'll scoot this down a little bit. And that'll just kind of hold your bow in place. All right, then once you have everything in place, then you can go ahead and add your greeting. So I just stamped these on a scrap piece of white cardstock. And so I'm just going to add the happy right up here, and I'm just gonna offset them a little bit. So I used some early espresso ink to do my stamping. And these are just stamped on a half inch wide piece of white cardstock. So that's really all you need to do to decorate the outside. So now to decorate the inside, we're going to start with a four by five and a quarter inch piece of early espresso cardstock. So this just gives it a really cool look from the outside. You can see that dark brown coming through between those little slats. And then the next thing I did is just cut a two by three and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock. And I did just a little bit of stamping on this. So I'm just going to use some crumb cake ink and I'm just using this little image and I'm just gonna move this up. And we're gonna stamp this kind of right on the bottom here. And it got onto here, but that's okay because that's going to get covered up. So I kind of used it as a scratch piece of paper. <laughs> Sometimes you do what you gotta do, right? So now I'm just gonna add this. So this gives you a little spot to write in for your birthday card. So the next thing you can do is just cut a four by two and a quarter inch piece of that same designer paper that we used on the front. And I'm going to adhere this to the inside of the card and I'm just gonna tuck it right underneath that linen thread. And we'll add this to the top part of the inside of the card. Just kind of decorates it up a little bit more. All right, so that is how I decorated my trellis card. So, okay, the second card that I created is the same. It's the same concept for creating this trellis section. The only difference is that I adhered these little pieces behind the vertical ones. So the horizontal ones, I adhered them behind the vertical instead of on top of the vertical ones. So it just gives it a little bit different look. But then I added just a three quarter inch wide piece of designer paper across the top and I just changed the colors out a little bit. So this is petal pink and crumb cake that I'm using. And then on the inside, I did the exact same type of decorating on the inside with that little stamp image and my designer paper. Okay, so there you go. Now you have two different ways you can use this trellis design in your card making. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.